top five decks October 2022 edition. This will be pre Darkwing Blast, which I actually think interesting things will happen then. But until then, this is what you're going to be dealing with in the metagame. Don't make 30% of you guys have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up the 100k ladder here. First of all, we got to talk about Flanderies here. Now, I was actually a little bit hesitant to put Flanderies on this list because I haven't seen the deck have a very good turnover rate um, pre ban list. Um, the deck, while it does, you know, run end pen, uh, it's still got Mystic Minds. I uh, just got another Nadir Servant back. So, depending on, you know, the version you're playing, dropping a Garuda for a free draw one, you know, might end up just making your fancy a whole lot better for the combo if you're, if you're even trying to go that route. I, I don't highly recommend it, but. I guess it's the little things that you can do. You still have, what, like three Storm Winds, Apex Avion. You got the whole kit and caboodle still available to you for this deck. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, Flunder didn't lose anything. I, I think that's, like, the most important thing here to understand is, you know, when, when you have a deck as weird in terms of, like, scaling and how it works as Flunder, you definitely got to ask yourself, you know, does it get better now that we've checked Sprite? Yes, 100%. Uh, they did play a lot of decent board breakers. I mean, we were pretty familiar with Dark World No More Mystic Mind in that deck, but Flunder is definitely one of those decks that relies on going first, and its board breaking power isn't the, the greatest in the world. But I think the deck, considering how the rest of things are starting to shift up here, I think Flunder's sitting near the top five, you know, at least for now. I think is a, a very acceptable thing. I'll have to wait and see. I might be wrong. We might see Flunder jumbo around a little bit. Uh, when you watch the next video, when we talk about like the lower half of you know the top five here, uh, basically be top ten at that point. You kind of see what I mean by some of the other options might be a little bit more inviting here. Now, next up is Exo Sister. So, so, uh, Exo Sister. What what the heck happened? Well, Sprite. Supposedly got not down a peg here. Uh, once you remove Ronan Toden from the game, you kind of got to ask yourself, well, does does Exo Sister gain some momentum here? I think the answer is yes. Um, I, I was actually, I was thinking about this, like, Exo Sister pre-beasted. I mean, after po post-beasted, oh boy, I can't wait. Uh, good things will happen there, but... I think right now, Exo Sister gets a slight boost. Um, once again, I said previously that this deck kind of struggles against like the rest of the metagame. Like, yeah, you can have a fantastic tier matchup, bro. If you play eight tier decks in a row, you draw Shifter all day, well, congratulations, you're going to win. But uh, you're going to have to win some dice rolls, or you're going to have to open up Shifter going second. And... Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't even have that kind of luck at this game. So, you're going to have to deal with um, some board states that aren't exactly going to be your friend. I guess is like the most important thing I'm trying to say here. Exosister, eh, I'm, once again, if you, you have the best matchup in the room against the best deck, I am kind of curious to see um, how the matchup for this deck will handle with all the new evolutions of Sprite. You know, like the pure version might be dead, but that doesn't mean that you won't see little offshoots of people trying out different things. Like, you know, how does the deck fare against maybe Tri-Brigade Sprite? I mean, you might have a good variation matchup in that case, but like, what happens when Exorcist runs into like the Runic variant and then they start getting milled out? You know, it's all these little offshoot weird matchups that really can mess with Exosister. But once again, if you're an Exo Sister main, I really do wish you the best. I hope that your deck actually lives up to the hype that I'm putting on it here. But post Beasted, later on in the block for Darkwing, you'll be very happy. All right, next up is Math Mech. I know, right? I'm still putting Math Mech so high up on the list. First of all, any of you know what Math Mech actually does? All right, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it before one of you is like. No, Rabbi, I don't know what Math Mech does. Don't worry about it, Duelist. The entire deck revolves around circular start combo. And then you get OTK'd. Um, Math Mech has become a deck that 
very reliantly can play through hand traps. And I think that's the thing that makes it such a unique experience right now in the game is the fact that you, you don't really give two craps about what your opponent does. I mean, you do care, but you play through things a little bit more reliably. Um, I would say that we might head back. I mean, we're already in a pretty heavy hand trap format heading into the ban or heading into the ban list, heading out of the ban list here. Um, I expect that that might actually maintain um, because everybody's going to be looking at tier, you know, with high expectations to want to, you know, stop the deck. Also, the fact that, you know, like the small world variants of this deck um, tend to be the ones that shine. Um, overall, I I do think that Mathemech will maintain some sort of domination within the format. Um, as third best deck, pre-beasted, yeah. I think so. Um, there's nothing else really too crazy to say about Math Mac, man. Like, if Circular touches down and is fully able to resolve, um, they're probably going to start a combo. You also have the Adding Nestor variant, which has kind of disappeared into the sunset. Um, I would not be surprised to see the Math Mac Ignister make a guest star appearance back. I don't think it's better than the pure Math Mac variant by far. But I do think that it is a variation of the deck that you should be aware does exist. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! is definitely a game where the randomness can catch you off guard, all right? And that's, uh, that's a bad thing. Next up here is going to be Sprite. Wow! Sp you're still putting Sprite at the second best deck in the room, Robbie? Yeah, I, I mean... Does that guy how many variations to it? I mean... Any any deck that can take advantage of like level two. So I mean like on the on the bare worst version of the deck is like the agent version. Alright, like trust me here, I don't I don't think the agent version's that good. Um on the the moving up version here you got like Tri Brigade Sprite, which is once again okay. It's for the, the spicier people. You have like the runic version, which I think is pretty good. Alright, um, it's probably by far one of my favorite versions of the deck. You also have the Evil Twin version, which a lot of people are talking about will probably be the best build right now, because, I mean, you didn't even play the frog stuff. A few other people are talking about just going to, like, Nimble Beaver, or the Nimble stuff to kind of, like, facilitate, like, the loss of the engines and stuff you had. And, I mean, let's not forget the fact that you could just put this into your tier deck as it was, and then just play, you know, tier sprite like you splash in with a couple cards on the bare minimum you can what splash like jet to search for smashers to resolve off of the gigantic trust me it is all sorts of dumb stuff you can do with sprite but with the loss of ronin toten the deck did feel a little bit you know kind of getting crushed in a little bit i i think i think seeing the variations in damage actually happened to the deck was a good thing. Konami Konami did put some good restraints on the deck and did clean things up relatively nicely for it. But from where I'm sitting right now, I still think it's going to resume itself as the second best deck in the room. It doesn't have much of a reason to really change um, right now. And once again, you have so many variations to this deck that you're just free real estate, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you want to hear, right? Sprite, Sprite's not dead. Pick up your really cheap... Uh, cards while you can. Last but not least is Tier Elements. Wait. But Robbie Fairy Tale Snow got banned. Didn't that fix the deck? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Totally. No. Um, the banning of Fairy Tale Snow helped out about this much. Right? I mean, it could have been astronomically larger at the end of the day, but the point here is was Konami wanted to, I guess, make indirect hits they know for the next couple months that tier is going to be the best deck, all right? Yeah, you can play any sort of Mystic Mind variation to try to slow down the deck from doing what it does. You have the chance to do so. I get that. It doesn't seem very enticing, but it's clear that Konami Marketing wants tier to be the best deck through the winter. Um, we'll have to wait and see how you can really counter this because, I mean, besides D-Shifter, you know, Macrocosmo, Di-Fi, or Dimensional Fissure, um, there's not a lot of great ways to do it, because the deck is just mass milling. It's what Light Sworn wishes it could have been at its prime, and the sad part is, like, yeah, the loss of the Punk Engine after losing Papega Ruler um, did hurt the current variation some, but the power scaling and so forth that's coming down the pipeline here is going to be so crazy. But the good news is you get the Beasted cards, which will help out 
about this much. <laughs> All right, about the same amount the fairy tale snow getting banned actually mattered, but it's something at the end of the day. So, what do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.